Now, brace yourself. I've got a little bit of good news for you. The German company BioNTech, known for the Pfizer vaccine, are back to focusing on new technologies to treat cancer. Co-founders, uh, professors uh, Uga Sahin and Oslem Tureki are hopeful the current trials in progress using the power of mRNA could lead to new treatments for melanoma, bowel cancer and other tumours. Well, here to tell us more is Dr Frankie Jackson-Spence. And we should state from the outset, you were actually involved in one of these trials in kidney cancer patients. So just tell us a little bit about your involvement and how, how big a deal this is. Yeah, it's a really exciting new step towards personalised cancer treatments. And my involvement, I, worked, I work in kidney cancer trials and I was a sub-investigator on this trial. Back actually before um, the pandemic, um, people think that we're utilising the technology of the COVID vaccine to make these cancer treatments. But actually, these have been in development for a long time and those trials were ongoing uh, well before the pandemic. Oh, so, so, so they've used the technology from those trials to then manufacture the COVID vaccine and then gone back to refining the process to then hopefully make a cure for cancer. Just just explain for us in really simple layman's terms the, the what we're talking about here, especially when we talk about mRNA. So mRNA technology, um, basically what it does is it uses a protein or an antigen, so uh, and it tells your body to produce that to flag it to the immune system. So in the case of COVID, the mRNA technology would use the spike protein on the COVID um, surface to take it into your body and then show it to your immune system so that you mount an immune response. In the case of cancer, what you can actually do is get specific proteins on a patient's own cancer, take it into your body, and then educate your immune system and flag it to your immune system so that your body's own immune system can target the cancer. So it's really personalised treatments. It's um, completely different from the traditional treatments of things like chemotherapy. Um, and they are in very early phase trials in cancer. You know, we got the COVID vaccine through very quickly, a process that would normally take kind of over five years. Um, so we are still in the early phases of the cancer, but early results are promising. Yeah. And, you know, with any luck, it could be a game changer, really, for people facing cancer. And as you say, chemotherapy is such a traumatic experience for many people and the outcomes not always a success. We know that cancer outcomes in this country, particularly poor. So this, you know, will be a huge message of hope to a lot of people. Absolutely. Most of the research that we're doing now is um, in targeted therapies, utilising your body's immune system and really kind of taking a step towards personalised cancer treatment. So it could really change treatment. Um, scientists and medics involved with trials are always very hesitant to say that we are going to find a cure for cancer because we know it's very complex. Every cancer is different and they, uh, cancers change all the time. Um, but it's it's definitely really showing promising results in early phase trials. Yeah, and what would you say to people who generally are worried about vaccines generally, um, the, the anti-vax community as they're known, what would you say to them that they're worried about? They're hearing this technology and of course it was rushed through the development of the COVID vaccine. So the... Um it wasn't necessarily rushed through. It was that more resources were pulled together um, and more funding was put in to um, get that through quickly. You know, it still went through the same rigorous testing and development. But these were technologies that, as, as I've mentioned, were already in development. It wasn't new concepts. It was just utilised in a different way. Um, so they were safe. Um, I think people that have, you know, anti-vax views are uh, really doing damaging things because we have proven that vaccines over time have really helped healthcare and um, particularly in the case of cancer you know one in two people are going to be affected with cancer unfortunately in our lifetime and this is a real ray of hope and it would be a shame for people with kind of miseducated views to miss out on potentially revolutionary treatments um, because of because of those views. Uh, with cancer diagnosis the, the mantra has always been early detection means better results where would this treatment fall in terms of the stage of cancer I mean if somebody's in late stage cancer could this still be good for them? Yeah, so um, that's a really great question. This vaccine has actually been trialled in a few settings. It's been trialled for patients that have had surgery to remove their cancer, um, so that is with curative intent to try and prevent the cancer coming back. And in the case that I worked on, it was used in advanced cancer where the cancer is stage four, it's spread to other places, and it's trying to get rid of it completely. So it is being trialled at different stages. Um, but it's a treatment, and I still think that whilst we need to be developing cancer treatments, we also can't forget that we need to be doing things to prevent them developing in the first place yeah. too. Really interesting to talk to you, Dr. Frankie Jackson-Spence. Thank you very much. Thank indeed. you very much.